legacies in this sport, you know, what does it mean to your legacy to get a win like that over a big name? Uh, you know, we just keep adding them up at this point. Um, so it's just another feather in the cap. Uh, on to the next. Congratulations. Uh, Clay, coming off that fight with AJ, obviously it ends so quickly, you never really get to get going the way you thought you planned. How just, I guess, um, vindicating is it to go out there and have a performance, be in that cage longer, and really just show so much more of what you can do? Well, you know what they say, you're only as good as your last fight. Um, as of right now, we got a finish, so that's a bonus. Um, we're, we're back in the winning column, and that's what we were looking for, so we're happy about that. Obviously, we get late into the season. This is quite the schedule going from February to November, December. Just physically, how are you feeling? And how do you handle that long marathon potentially for the next several months? Uh, I'm, I've gotten good at this. It's, I'm on year four now um, with the PFL, so we, we figured it out. We figured out how to stay healthy and, and keep moving and grooving, so um, we're, we're excited for the, the, the next, what is it, six months? Three months, four months, eight months, whatever. I don't know how long whatever it's until November, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're excited until November. And then final question, sir. Uh, just, you know what, I, I was a little surprised he wanted to stand with you quite as much as he did. Did that take you by surprise at all, how comfortable he was deciding you wanted to throw hands with the boxer? I mean, you can't claim you're the knockout king and then go wrestling, you know what I'm saying? So I, I would I would have dogged him hard if he, if he were to wrestle, claim me as the knockout king. And we saw another beautiful display of your hands today, Clay. My question, starting off that fight, were you a little bit like, Looked a little hesitant coming off that AJ McKee, you know, like worried about the grappling. Obviously, the Pitbull brothers are known for their grappling. And with that, like the second part is like going forward, what are we going to see in the rest of the season? So I've been focusing a lot on my grappling. Um, I, I've been traveling to different gyms, getting the black belts, getting a, a lot more people on the ground. So, you know, he, see, he, he did try to take me down there once, and I, I hit him with that. Roll, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to improve everywhere and focus on what I'm good at. And, um, you know, if these people keep thinking I can't grapple, I want to surprise them. And yeah. so I'm just going to keep working. Is this your season to win the championship? Well, that, <laughs> I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I was Hell gonna. yeah, there we go. Clay, everyone always talks about your boxing, your technical ability, and I know you're referred to as the Crimson Chin, but do you feel like your toughness is sometimes overlooked, and do you feel like toughness is like one of the key traits, the key attributes you need to be to be a great fighter? Um, yeah, you, you have to be tough to fight. That's kind of a no-brainer. Um, I don't think there's any single person in the game tougher than me, hands down. Mm -hmm. You guys had one of the most exciting, if not the most exciting fight of the night. The fight before was also very exciting. Michael Dufort and Matt Bernal. Did you happen to catch that fight? And would you be interested in maybe doing a matchup with one of those guys? Either or, man. If they want to try to play play on the feet with me, it's going to be a bad night for them. Thank you, guys. Yes. Clay, we talk about your boxing a lot, but how much are your leg kicks being underestimated by your opponents? You saw that one. Uh, I know I heard him with it. I've been working that low cap. Yeah, I'm, I, I would like to say I'm well-rounded. Um, boxing is definitely a staple in my game, and it's something that I'm good at, but I'm a well-rounded fighter. I've been a professional mixed martial artist since I was 18 years old, and I work every aspect of the game. So just because, you know, my boxing is a highlight, I'm not doing anything. We know you for the season four years in a row. You said it. Does it feel like a new... Exciting new field with all the Bellator entrants. Yeah, I like a challenge. Uh, they, they, and I keep making this tournament tougher to win. You know, I think I got the, the rug pulled out of me a couple of times. Uh, you know, we made it to the, the finals last year and had a tough loss against Oregon. But uh, the end game, the main thing still the main thing. And that's winning that gold, and that's, that's something I'm working on. Is there a special sense of accomplishment anytime you get a standing TKO? We don't see those often in MMA. Uh, anytime you get a finish.